Hello, Ian Henschke here, Chief Advocate with National Seniors. Now, the latest research says that if you are lonely, it can be as bad as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. So I was very pleased recently when one of our members, Steve Rhodes from Brisbane, found a project that is uplifting to not just the spirit, but the soul and everything about it is a heartwarming story. It's about Steve Ninnis, a man who made a lot of money in life and is now giving a lot back. Morning ladies. Morning, Morning. Steve. How are you today? Good, good, good. I set up this art class so that people could actually have a space where they could get together, they could paint. To add to that, it's also about community. It's not just painting, it's about people getting together and being able to interact with each other and having the freedom of this building. Uh, there are so many people here who are good artists, beginning artists, and everybody is able to help you. You want something, you want some help, you just call out, you put up your hand, and um, Steve will come around and he'll tell you, tell you where, what to do and um, how to do it. And sometimes he even um, has a go himself. He'll pick up your brush and he'll say, this is what you need, and he'll go splash, splash, and you go, oh, I don't know what he's doing. He's going to ruin my painting. And then you look at it and you realise that the painting comes to life. Since I retired as well, I haven't had a lot of money, so coming here it's a free space. Beautiful people, the, the paints are provided, the canvases, and magnificent company. And it's been a godsend. It's fantastic. And Steve uh, is just a wonderful human being. I don't know what we'd do without him. A godsend. That's what Steve is. He's a godsend. Come on, take your time. There's no rush. Not gentle, 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 gentle. Like, oops. Because let's look at the animal there. Yeah. And let's just, just gently, just don't work it so hard. Okay. That's it. That's better. Don't try to finish it in one go. Right. Come on, you know that. Just a bit at a time. Steve's next student, Geoffrey Harley, has spent the last 40 years teaching art at international schools overseas. So Steve, what do you think? Ah, it's beautiful. Um, what part specifically appeals to you? Geoffrey believes that when you teach, you're giving away your ideas to other people. So, on his retirement and return to Australia, he was finally able to express his own ideas on canvas. What I like about this place, apart from the environment and the, the, the camaraderie of other people, is that there is the discipline of a set day, a set time, that um, to show up and sit down and do some work. And so I know about myself that I need a camaraderie, I need the energy of other people around me to help sponsor and develop my art. Apparently it took Leonardo da Vinci seven years to paint the Mona Lisa, but Lorna Pitt hopes to have her version of his masterpiece well and truly completed under seven years. I've been coming here for about a year now and um, it's been a great sort of um, relaxing atmosphere and it's been really good to come and get a bit of therapy and learn about how to paint. Um, I'm working on some oils at the moment here but um, those, these ones are all mine and I've d done this frog over here. But um, yeah, I've really enjoyed coming along. That's a freehand Mona Lisa. <laughs> but um, I enjoy doing this sort of stuff, but sort of like more bold colours. Like I'm doing this merman sort of oil painting as well. But yeah, no, I love coming here every Wednesday and Saturday and it's been, yeah, it's a lovely atmosphere and lots of nice people. Since my fourth retirement, uh, I've decided to be a full-time artist as well. So I'm actually uh, planning an exhibition of my work at uh, Wulungaba Art Gallery, Art Gallery uh, in October of this year. This painting is an embodiment of my uh, suffering in regards to having breast cancer treatment. So I've likened myself to Phoenix in this painting where having gone through the hardship of having treatment 
to being able to escape and do the things that I want to do, and that is art. This is Bruce, uh, this young man's Marty, um, this is Noel, and this is my husband Milton, and they're in a little, little band that plays once a month at the Bearded Lady at West End, and they're called Gentlemen of the Limit. See you guys. Bye, see you. See you. I've done reasonably well in life and you have to give back. You have to give back, you have to contribute and I'm not a great person with charities but I love the idea of actually being able to provide for people to be able to do something um, and we have all walks of life coming here um, and I made it free because I wanted to have that freedom in this building. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. Thanks again to Steve Ninnis for his wonderful art project and also to Steve Rhodes, our National Seniors member in Brisbane, who filmed that story, edited it and brought it to our attention. Just a reminder, if you have a story about a positive aspect of ageing, always feel free to contact us at nationalseniors.com.au.